It's Pop Trigger Time! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Samantha Shocker. Thank you so much for tuning in. I feel like it's gonna be a really wild show today. I think so. I'm uh -huh. really excited. We're a little bit rambunctious. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, our co-host today, our very own Dope Brie Esrig. You can subscribe to her YouTube channel, at Brie Esrig. First time in the Pop Trigger studio, she's an actress, a comedian, a former professor, and a cat <laughs> owner. This is Whitney Rice, everybody. Woo! Yeah, Whitney Rice. And Brett Ehrlich, what is this? I like it. I threw down a beat. Brett's been drinking can you show it? My green tea. So he's a little bit more spunky today. Mm -hmm. We like it. And you can catch Brett on Declassified. It's the pre-show to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So funny, so good. Make sure you check that out. And you can catch me live on HLN at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dr. Drew on Call every night. Tune in tonight. Shall we get right to it? Is Selena Gomez over Justin Bieber? So last night in Brooklyn, Selena was performing and she sang her ballad, Love Will Remember. And that's the song that's widely believed to be about Justin Bieber. We reported it on it earlier when she had that leaked original version with Justin Bieber's voicemail in the front. It was later taken off. So when she was singing Love Will Remember, she started bawling. So this is leading a lot of people to believe that she's still not over the Biebs. We're gonna discuss thoughts, five words or less. Come and get over it. But Alzheimer's will forget. <laughs> Stop loving him. He's bad. <laughs> Love will remember the gas mask. Yeah, you don't want to forget that one. Uh, wait, okay. what's the gas mask? When you, you wear remember the gas when we're mask. in the gas mask? In public, uh, when we uh, talk about it? I'm just too busy thinking of, you know, SWAT teams when I think of gas masks. It's too scary. <laughs> <laughs> or like bongs where they make like Yeah, but a gas we reported mask. on it, Brett. Remember? I'm sorry. I can't remember everything we report. We report That's like 10 things no, a day. No, I'm with you. When I think of gas masks, I think about Sofia Coppola's artistic choices in movies. There I unfortunately think of Justin Bieber as of recent. Okay. okay, so do we believe this story? Do we think that Selena Gomez is yet to be over Justin Bieber? Or do you think some people are saying that this is a way for her to generate a lot of applause because she did it the night before too? And she sees that when she's singing a ballad and she gets emotional, her fans really get, you know, excited. I don't think of her as emotionally that manipulative. And yeah. I have no reason to think of her that, that way or another way. Yeah. There's no incentive to think, and, and I've never been felt the connection with her, but I just don't think of her as a manipulative person mm -hmm. the way other so pop genuine. stars yeah. are. But then why would she be attracted to him? That's what I want to know. Like, why would you cry over Justin Bieber? First of all. That's the question. Very, very non-threatening because he has lady muscles. Okay. Oh. He does. Brett. He's got like Madonna muscles, you know, the ones where like. like he's no, oh. she's buff. He's Madonna. Tall. Madonna. All right, I'm yeah. talking about 97, 1997 Madonna muscles. Okay. Right when she started working out. Uh, okay. <laughs> I understand, like, not get. It's really hard to get over your first love. Yes. And, like, it's so public, so. I feel like she she gets emotional and everybody else gets emotional and it's just a way for an audience to actually connect with her as an artist. I and agree with you, cool. Brie. Let's reflect back on our first loves. It is really <laughs> hard to get over your very first big love. That was her first big love. That was Justin's as well. It wasn't all that uh, long ago that they broke up, especially yeah. because recently, was it 4th of July, that they were kind of dating again. So I'm sure it does it is hard for her. So with that being said, is it harder for celebrities to get over their celebrity ex, considering that they're everywhere? We can unfriend somebody. We can unfollow somebody. We can make that decision to try to get that person out of our life so it, it's easier to get over them. But they don't have that yeah, choice. Exactly. Yeah, but they have money. <laughs> so, get, like, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think, Just Brett? dab your tears with yeah. Benjamins. Exactly. Thank and you. And then roll them up and just... Rail those lines. Get over it. <laughs> right. Move Numb on. the mind. That's Numb why it. they invented drugs. <laughs> the Brett Ehrlich way. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Brett Ehrlich way. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And when you wake up in the emergency room, the only thing you'll be thinking is, do I have insurance? <laughs> not what happened to Justin Bieber? I think it's great that you put everything into like your your art, sort of. So like this type of song is 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 good for her, I think, because it's not like the catchy pop songs that she usually sings, and she has a chance to actually like relate and get into it and get emotional. I so. like that you said that it, it allows her to connect with her fans, because yeah. how many of her fans are also going through something similar? Yeah. Yeah, two points for Brie. Brie's on fire today. <laughs> I think, yeah, she should just... Oh. She should move on. Here comes Brett. She should move on to get another two bow. Points? Get another bow. That's it. Just what do you get mean? someone similar. Get another female pop oh, star. Oh, a bow. That you I thought you were talking about my bow. Dating. Look at that bow. It's cute, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez? Do you guys think that Selena Gomez is still not over Justin Bieber? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.